Hi again, YouTubers. So it is that time of month for Flashback Friday. And as always, I always enjoy going back and taking a look at those videos. I will post the link down below for that video, flashing back to February of 2012. And the first thing that I was in love with back then was my lash extensions. And I had lash extensions done because I was pregnant. I wasn't able to use... Um, any retinols, any things like that. I wasn't allowed to use Botox. I kind of felt like I needed something on my face to kind of make my face look alive. So I had lash extensions. I do love them. I go back every so often, usually in the summertime to get them done, but I don't do them continuously as I did through my pregnancy. Um, I have a great girl. If you're in the Baltimore, Maryland, like metro area, I have an amazing girl in Catonsville that is to die for. So if you are looking for someone, what I tend to do now is like right now, I have on a pair of just false lashes. So for those days that I really get in the mood and I really wanna have extra lashes, these ones are very, very natural looking that I have on today. Um, the ones that I have on today are Ardell 110s. I also like the 109, which is a little bit more dramatic here than the other ones. And then my all-time favorites, if I'm going out, are my Esquito lashes. This one here is Unforgettable, which is one of my favorites. It's actually coming off the edge there. It's kind of hard to see in this. But Esquito lashes are amazing. For lash glue as well, I will say the Esquito lash glue blows the duo out of the water. I always use duo. I always loved it. This is so nice because it is on, like... A point you just draw it onto the edge of the lash let it dry for a couple seconds and put it on and they stay like amazing one of the other things that I tend to do to keep my lashes if I want them looking more voluminous is the um, unique mood struck 3d fiber lash mascara this is the mascara this is the fibers um, this is something that I tend to use if I just want a little bit of extra look but don't want to put the false lashes on. It's really great. It is fairly expensive and it does dry out quickly, but it gives you results. The other one that I have been using lately and that I have on today with the false lashes that I'm really loving is the Chanel, I think it's called Le Volume de Chanel Mascara. This thing is just amazing. Uh, when you first get it, you are going to think there is nothing great about this mascara because it is very wet in the beginning. Give it about two days after that and you will love it. It is awesome. Let me know if you want a full review on that. The next thing that I said I was in love with was a Buxom lip balm. I don't even think they make them anymore. It was one of the first things that Buxom really did when they branched out onto their own from Bare Minerals um, was that uh, little lip balm. It was in a pot. It had a colored top to it. I use it all the time. I use mine up. The thing that I tend to grab for now is Smith's Strawberry Lip Balm. They also have the Rose Lip Balm and I think a peppermint one. This one smells like strawberries. It goes on just completely clear. It just is such a great, great, great lip balm. I really love that. The next thing that I was in love with was the Origins Mega Bright Serum. Sorry, I'm looking over at my list here. Um, I haven't used Origins. I used Origins for about a year after I had MJ because I was nursing and things like that. Um, and I did use it for quite some time. And then I've gone through a barrage of different uh, skincare. The one I'm currently using and loving is the Obagi. I love the Professional C Serum. I use the 15%. And I also use Obagi New Derm line. This is the full line that I use. Uh, the clear, the things like that. These just by far blow anything out of the water that you can get over the counter. Medical grade skincare is just, I just can't even find words to explain how amazing it is. Uh, next thing that I loved was the Real Techniques Multitask Brush. Can't find mine. No, I still have it. Uh, I have the blush brush, which is very, very similar to the Multitask Brush. It's fairly dome shaped, has good movement to it. Um, you can use it for blush, you can use it for powders. You can use it for pretty much anything. They're found at Ulta. They are just a great, great, great line of inexpensive brushes. Really awesome. Uh, next thing that I loved was the Lorac Exposed Blush. And I put that on today. I used it today. It is the Baked Matte Satin Blush in Exposed. This is kind of like that Laura Mercier Baked Matte Radiance Highlighter. 
Um, same thing, Lorac Baked Matte Satin Blush. It's so funny. So this is the blush. It looks a lot like NARS Orgasm, if you like that. This one has more of a sheen to it, um, but it's very, very, very pretty. Easy to use, can go with pretty much any skin tone. As I said, I have it on today. It's just an easy color. Um, it just swatches very nicely, you can see it there. It's just a pretty peach color, easy to work with has a nice sheen to it, has a good color, very pretty. The last thing that I had loved were my hot rollers and I set my hair in them today and I kind of remember why I loved them but I kind of hate them <laughs> and I remember why I don't use them all the time. This is the hot rollers, they were by Jilbury Ceramic Tools, Porcelain Services. I bought them at Sally Beauty Supply. This is what they look like. They also come with uh, these type of clips and then also like more of the grabby clips like hair clips. Um, I love the fact that I can just put them up, do my makeup, pull them out and my hair is already done. I hate the fact that, can you see right here? You can see where the clip was, same thing with up through here. Plus I feel like my hair gets frizzy with them. It doesn't look as shiny, it doesn't look as nice, as smooth as it usually does. It just kind of feels a little bit frizzy looking. Um, definitely has that mark. Can you see it right there where my hair is down? If I put it behind my ear, you can't notice it as much. But yeah. So I remember why I haven't grabbed for them in a really long time, but I love the concept of just throwing them up, doing my makeup, and then being able to pull it out and have my hair already done. Um, my regret was the Butter Polish and Disco Biscuit. I do remember hating that polish. It was such a beautiful color if they had done it right. It just, it flaked off. It was, it took multiple, multiple coats in order to get it to apply right. It had such a pretty, it was such a bright pink with such a pretty blue glitter to it, but it was not worth it at all. So that is everything for my Flashback Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions on anything you saw here and what else I am wearing. I have on the Tarte CC corrector under my eyes. Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. These are not in the order I put them on. Uh, Urban Decay Naked Concealer, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder under the eyes, Laura Geller Bronze and Brighten Bronzer, Lorac Exposed Blush that I showed you guys, um, Hourglass Strobe Light as Highlighter on my eyes is Clinique Pink Chocolate Palette uh, Anastasia Brow Definer. The Ardell 110 Lashes with the Chanel Volume Mascara. Marc Jacobs Highliner in Black just on my top waterline. I think that's it for my eyes. On my lips is Marc Jacobs Primrose Lip Liner with the Chanel Light Rose Lip. And then over that, I have on the Estee Lauder Pure Gloss, Pure Color Envy Glosses, I think they are, in Fiery Almond. Loving that. My sweater is from Free People. Um, it's just a cable knit one. My necklace is the Zoe Laureate, but twisted up and tied behind my neck. I have on my David Yerman ring, my Deco Stackable ring, the three of them. I have on the Remy Wrap in the black one and all my other stuff is the same. Uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, please let me know if you have any questions and have a great day. Bye.